passed away. It was about six months ago. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. yeah, more or less. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Phyllis came to me and said, mm -hmm. once the, the, the date of the uh, coronation was known, mm -hmm. uh, came to me and said, May 6th, is it enough time for you to get organized? I said, I think I, 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 think I might be able to do something. And so we put this in motion. And since I had the pleasure of, of tasting Sharon's wonderful spots before, they are. And I asked, do you, do you think Sharon would mind giving me a recipe? I said, I don't think she'll have a problem. And we spoke about what needs to be in a proper English tea. Now, I, I, I know this is a wonderfully Israeli proper English tea, <laughs> but... Isn't that wonderful that we can have one? Yes. And she told me everything about the cucumber uh, sandwiches with the with the egg salad and tuna salad and everything, and the, the, the crust needs to be cut off and everything to a tea. And after we had, she told me everything that needs to go in there. She said, you know, but I think I won't be there. And since I couldn't imagine, I really could not imagine Protea without Phyllis. I, I told her, young lady, would you stop with the nonsense already? And unfortunately, she was right. And I can say that I miss her dearly. Yeah, we all miss her. I'm sure. I'm sure. Um, she Hadam, was, Hadam, I think her spirit is with us today. I'm sure. I'm sure, because her zest for life, her finding reason to celebrate, just being, yeah. is so much a characteristic of her. It is so much Phyllis, that I'm sure she is. Uh, but nonetheless, she's missed dearly. I miss talking to her. Uh, she always had these sharp observations yeah. and insights. Um, and uh, when I told uh, Sharon about it in the Shiva, that she said that she doesn't think she's going to be here, then uh, Sharon stepped to the plate and I asked her, could I have the recipe for the scones? She said, no, but I'm going to make them. Uh, uh, so I'm so thrilled to have you here. It is absolutely. Really, and with all the respect to the royal, our own queen mother. So, um, and Barbara said what she wanted to say a few things. So, if you feel comfortable, please. Okay, I didn't. I didn't plan to say anything, but Hadar opened opened it up so nicely. And uh, first of all, I really appreciate Hadar that you gone to all this trouble and for everybody here to make the effort to come. I'll just I'll say a couple of things. One is that when Dahlia read the Megillah on Purim, I was speaking to Hadar, and I was really fine. I braced myself to come here and, and, uh, and see you all, and I wasn't emotional, I was just happy. And then we start, I started with my daughter to speak to Hadar, and Hadar, I was bawling. She burst out crying. <laughs> and then that made me also. And my daughter said that that's when you know that the social worker is a real person. When she can become so emotional about somebody who she, but said she worked with, but she is a human being and that she had the emotions. Um, to feel the loss and to appreciate a, a person for being a, 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 a Ben Adam, a person. So thank you, Hadar, for that. Um, I'm just going to say one quick other thing. I have two minutes. Uh, and as I said, I did not plan to speak, but it was um, our granddaughter's bat mitzvah uh, a couple of weeks ago, and she invited all the women in the family, which was her, her grandmother's, her aunts and her 
first cousin girls who were over the age of eight. So it was just females. Sorry, guys. Um, so we were about 12 or 13, and we went to my granddaughter's house, and we sat around the table, and my daughter had asked us to think of a truna, an attribute that we'd learned from our mothers and that we wanted to pass on to our children and our granddaughter. So I needed to think, all the females there needed to think of an attribute that they'd learned, or a gift that they got, or a special place that they'd been to with their mother, and that they wanted to hand down to their granddaughter, or their niece, or their... Um, and we had to think of a picture of the idea that we had. So uh, our idea, was um, about my mother, although there were many, many things that she handed down to me, but one that she was like a magnet. Whenever I would see her in the lobby or I'd come into her home, there were always people around her for whatever reason it was. There were, she always had a crowd around her. I came into the lobby, there was always people around her. And, uh, and, and that... Each picture that we, we all, all the females had in their mind, my daughter printed out on a piece of paper, and when we got to their, her home, that magnet that I had, my husband had something else, we, everybody had a different picture, was in front of us, we needed to cut it out, choose two pieces of material that were on the table, and we cut out, um, uh, I cut out the magnet, ironed that onto another piece of material, and finally, after we'd left, my daughter took it to the seamstress and all those pictures were put together on a blanket. So all those things we learned from our mothers were there for our granddaughter to learn from and to enjoy. And it was a beautiful, beautiful, big blanket with all those uh, attributes that we'd learned from our mothers. So I learned many things from my mother and I also learned many things from all of you beautiful people here that became my friends, and I'm happy to be here with you today. Hi, everybody. I haven't planned to say anything today, but how could I let this occasion go by without? Can you speak a bit louder, Barbara? Everyone is here today because Doris has a special place in your heart. Really, Each one of them. <laughs> I'm sorry, what did I say? I'm miles away. And, and I feel that this is the reason why we are here today thinking about Phyllis, how wonderful she was. You only had to sit with Phyllis for a moment and you found a connection. She knew your uncle, your cousin, your friend, because, and she remembered it all. And she always made being with her such a joy. She didn't complain. She was the most beautiful lady inside and out. And I think we were privileged to have known her. And so let's say, only enjoy good things. But even though today is sad and wonderful, we're celebrating something. I want to thank Hadar for making this. And of course, Sharon, who is a darling, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> and sorry I, that's helping. And I did not we thank you. Yes. And Perry, our husband, who is a great support. So let's give three cheers for Phyllis. Hip hip. Hooray! Hip hip. Hooray! Hip hip. Hooray! Thank you, everybody. Oh, thank you. Go ahead. Talk with her. He was a very famous uh, photographer in the East End uh, during the war years. And um, I, with my late husband of the show, we were the last people for him to take the wedding photograph. He came out of retirement. And um, the talk was given by Leslie Bennett, who was his son. And uh, as I went into the hall, an enormous, enormous hall with an enormous amount of people, this picture was on a screen. I was the star uh, <laughs> guest because I was the only one left of all the 
uh, portraits Boris had taken. I was the only one left alive. <laughs> so it was very nice. And um, when the evening was over, um, I was on my way to the airport to come back to Israel. So I was waiting for a taxi, and Leslie came over to me, and he said, um, I know you're going back to Israel, but where do you live? And I said, well, it's somewhere between Netanya and Ranama. Because I thought, he's never going to know. And he said, um, oh, um, the reason I'm asking you is because I have an aunt there. Um, but I don't suppose you know her. So I said, well, what's her name? And he said, Phyllis Lager. And I said, know her? I said, everybody knows her. So he's, with that, he said, well, I was with the family last week, and he grabs his phone, and he said, look, here's Devorah, and here's Jenny, and he's got the, all the family. And I thought, oh, that is so wonderful. And what a coincidence to meet a member of the family. So um, I came back to Israel the next, the next day, and the first thing I do is ring Phyllis. I'm going to tell her about this wonderful coincidence. And she said, um, well, thanks for ringing, but Devorah already ran me this morning. And that was Phyllis, that she, she was so on the ball, and all her family. And uh, even when Jenny once was on the same flight as me, it was the first time I'd gone back on my own. And she kept looking back and she said, you're all right, you're all right, can I do anything for you? They are a wonderful, wonderful family, the whole lot of them. Thank you for letting me be in with the family. Yeah, the person ever to come to Patea and get younger. Thanks to you guys. When she came here? No, when she had the heart valve replaced. That was complete heart surgery. At the age of 92. Okay, can I just stop you there? Okay. So the professor in Balenson said to me, he said, tell me what's your date of birth? When he wanted a, she needed a new heart valve, a new a, a heart valve replacement. And he said to me, in Balenson, we're sitting there like a meeting. He said, tell me your date of birth? She said, 1920. He said, I, I don't believe you. He actually didn't believe her. And he says, why would you now want a new heart? And she said, because I want to dance again. <laughs> the truth, she danced again. She, danced. she did. And the twinkle in her eyes, yeah, whenever we danced, she danced with my husband. Well, I'd like to say a few words. I have to say, I'm very sorry. I came late. I came late because I wrote a poem in memory of Phyllis to give you. And why am I late? I couldn't for the life of me figure out how to get it off the computer. <laughs> <laughs> so it's sitting on the computer. I, I thought you were going to say you couldn't, rem you couldn't work, work out the last line. <laughs> 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 I said, I you. Oh, no. But once I was on it, um, I had to write it. That when I really didn't know Phyllis, at not much, but I had occasion to ring her. I don't remember why. I rang her, and she wasn't home. It was the first time I'd ever I'd rang her. She wasn't home. But I'm out. I'm doing what you yourself. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lady really worth my <laughs> giving. <laughs> and my challenge is just. And my challenge is just. And, and her, had a wonderful afternoon. Her uh, uh, grace. Uh, <coughs> Glassy. Glassy. Glassy, her okay, helper. She, I, I, I wrote to her a few weeks ago to ask her how she's doing, and she said, although they, we all know they had a rocky relationship, she said, I really miss your mother. She taught me so much. I'm sure she did. I'm sure she did. 
something we had a wonderful relationship wonderful relationship and I've got a picture on my fridge just because of this she was just so wonderful to me not having the family here myself um, she was like a, a mother figure uh, and I appreciated it so much so so much and the family too so we're sitting all, all sitting here today and there's a big empty space. Yes, big empty space. But I feel that I'm looking at every single one of you here, and, and, I, and I know that she had a strong bond with each of you. Yes. yes. <laughs> you know, there's no, there's no measure, there's no, no. level. <laughs> but with each one of you, she had something special. Yes. So, and uh, she was so yes. fond of all of you. This is so much. But she taught us. She really did. And I used to go and visit her and have a cup of tea in the park when she spoke about her, I knew nothing, but she talked about her. Tell a story. Mm -hmm. I like to tell a story about her. When Phyllis was a hundred, she had many people telling her to congratulations. I don't know if she got her. Wait, Barbara, telegram. start again. When she was a hundred, I don't know if she got her telegram or card for the Queen, so she, she wanted she her friend, the chief rabbi, to wish her happy birthday. Mm -hmm. And how was he going to know? Mm -hmm. Well, my daughter Elaine, best friend is Valerie, the wife of the chief rabbi. So I phoned up Elaine, Elaine phoned up Valerie, and Valerie told Rabbi Mervis, the chief rabbi, and he, just before Shabbat, phoned her. To this day, she doesn't know how he knew. It was her <laughs> yeah. but she was so delighted. She was really charmed. Because she knew him when she had grief, and, and he was so kind to her. And that was the cherry on the cake for her on that day. Yeah. And it was recorded. It was recorded. I was shown uh, the whole, um, the interview that she had um, on somebody's phone. No, this was just a, a phone call yeah. that she got again. Yeah. You just said, you said, can you just say one more thing? Yes. And, and I said, and I said, well, okay, I'll start again. My mother, my, a friend of mine, mother, was thinking of coming to Protea. So she wanted to meet my mother in order to see what it was like here. So I took my mother, although this lady was a lot younger than my mother, I took my mum to meet this lady in my friend's house. 
And we went in and we went up the stairs. She was about 96, 97. And uh, Leia, come in there. Did you have an order self? <laughs> Sorry? Did you have an order self about this afternoon? Ah, um, Hadar, it was the. Have a seat. Come in. Yeah. Come in. Have a seat. Have a seat. I have a scone, please. I don't have a scone. No, 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 no. You're here. Can it's I get you a cup of tea? Can I get you a cup of tea? I'll take one too. Oh, yeah. Can I make you? It's only a short story, but I'll just tell So I took my mother in to meet this lady, and the lady said, well, I would li really like to know what Protea is like. So my mother said, well, how long have you got? <laughs> and the lady took fright. She thought my mother was saying, well, how, how many years? How long do you <laughs> And the lady went, oh, like this. Well, did we have a laugh? So it was Barbara, when you said, I just want to tell another story, I was going to say, well, how long have you got? <laughs> OK, I, I've said quite enough today. <laughs> with her, I used to come so regularly, uh -huh. and, it was, and I know it's for your mother, but we always like to see you as well. <laughs> so yeah. that, that, uh, uh, if you go back to your Wednesday tea and you give me a call, I'll come back and sit with you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> as long as you bring scones. <laughs> <laughs> so everybody, everybody else. Oh. Doris would like. To so every, everybody else. Oh, uh, oh Dor hold on, Doris, Doris, Doris. Doris. Hey. I'm very sorry. That with my memory, I forget to do things. And I wrote a whole poem <coughs> to Phyllis. I don't know where, where it is. And I've got to look She's got it up there, I promise you. I think I have it at home, actually. Yes. But I just remember two lines <laughs> from it. Wow. Her, the number of her friends has no end. And every one of them was her very best friend. Well, you remember those lines beautifully, and I have the poem. Um, I should have it. Okay, so now, so now Perry would like to just say a word. I, um, somebody just, somebody mentioned, ladies. No, I'm, I'm going to be really quick. I promise you. Somebody mentioned about uh, about the Shabbat, about the Shabbat and um, you mentioned right, but, yeah. About coming for Shabbat. About coming for Shabbat. No. <laughs> <laughs> about coming for Shabbat, and, and um, we, we would only come. We came for fitness, but no, we did come. Of course, for, for, for Santa. We knew her as Santa. Of course, we came. Of course, we came for her, uh, and to be with her and to spend time. Of course, we did that. But I, honestly, it, it, it's, it's kind of a loss to me. I, it's all right. It's just, it's kind of a loss, you know, like. We, we don't come anymore because we really we love to spend time with her but honestly we love to spend time with you and and to give that's a silly <laughs> and everybody everybody else has been great and happy and everything it is me but I get like that uh, but but you know and, and, and it's a real loss for us. We, we so much like spending our time with her and, and, and giving what we could to everybody here and, and taking it from you. We so, we so enjoyed giving and the taking, you know, and, the, and it, oh, I had to do all that learning of laning and everything, but I did it all. And, we, and once I came with my uh, grandson, the Mitzvah grandson, and, he, and they enjoyed it and they brought some life into here as well, and, which there is anyway, but it was just such a... It's just, it was a wonderful experience for us to, to share our Shabbat talk with you all, honestly, and, and that's something you know something about home. I think we're 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 missing anyway. We can't be, we can't I don't know. Maybe we will actually come back. It's taken a long time yes. to to adjust to that. Yeah, that's 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 all I want to say. It's very much a family experience. Cool. This is a coronation tea party uh, in honor and in memory of Sabta. So we see all the familiar faces. Don't worry.